Hello and welcome to Process Improving Japan News, where each week we bring you updates on what's happening in Japan's manufacturing industry. I'm Angela Corriero. My name is Kozo Sakano. So, Sakano-san, tell us what's happening today. A uh, new model named Puru Salfa, which they uh, began to sell last month. Mm. And within a ma one month period, they received order over 52,000 units. In Japan, in one month, they've received 52,000 orders for the new Prius. That's right. And they, are, they originally targeted to produce 3,000 a month. Wow. They're a little bit short of supply. <laughs> and then the consumer must wait over 10 months to have it uh, delivered. Amazing. And um, what's Toyota doing to, to meet this demand, this shocking demand? Well, they're happy to uh, meet the demand and... Uh, Are they working overtime? Uh, at the moment, probably not. Is this an indication that Japan's economy has recovered or is getting strong? Uh, at the moment, uh, I can't say clearly, but mm -hmm. we see the sign of recovery. Could it also be that the Prius is just an incredibly popular car in Japan? It is popular because it's very economical mm -hmm. and it's new, mm -hmm. uh, that's why. So it's in fashion in Japan to have a Prius? Yes, eco-minded uh, eco orientation. Interesting. What else is happening? I know you've got some really interesting information on the supply chain. Well, all the media have been criticizing supply chain system, but we have to focus on the benefit of supply chain system. Mm -hmm. Toyota have decided uh, after the earthquake occurred, they stopped all the lines mm -hmm. and then they dispatched many people to check the whole process. And because of the supply chain, they were able to locate the pro problem area. Uh, some people from go back to the upstream from the downstream and they check the each process. So supply chain system is a very good method. You're saying that this is the reason why uh, Toyota was able to recover so quickly after the earthquake? I believe so. Mm -hmm. And uh, this idea is the same and the, the same principle is practiced in the production line. If there is a problem, abnormality, what they do is to stop as soon as possible. I think it's worth noting that one of the Toyota suppliers that we deal with um, were so efficient in their recovery that only two weeks after the earthquake they were ready for full operations. That's correct. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so you've got some information on the JR Linear Museum. Mm, Newly J opened. Yes, J JR Linear Railway Museum opened only three days after the earthquake. Now JR is the creator of the Shinkansen, is that correct? The That's famous correct. Japanese bullet train? That's right. And uh, within just uh, three months, uh, more than 360 visitors. 360,000 visitors. Yes, 360,000 visitors went to the museum. Amazing. In three months only. Only three months. Incredible. Uh, that shows the some aspect of Japanese character. People also curious, intelligent. I you mean, know, intellectually curious about something new. That could be the cause of uh, new invention mm. or improvement. JR also, as a business, has some great qualities about it. Could you discuss that a little bit? Well, they have uh, thousands and thousands of QC circles. Uh, they have studied TPS. Mm -hmm. Just yesterday I had a discussion with J JR people. I was so impressed and amazed, actually, uh, by the confidence they have. Mm -hmm. because in their production system. In their production and also they have been the driving force of Japanese uh, history in terms of safety, logistics and quality control, quality control mm -hmm. service quality. You said at some stage that their quality control is even better than Toyota's? Mm, probably. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> um, I know also that the Shinkansen to the north, where the earthquake happened, they recovered also quite quickly and were back in operations in a very record time. Yeah, you said it. Mm. 
All right. Uh, last thing is we have a Japan has a gift giving custom that um, is centuries old, and there's two seasons: the winter gift and the summer gift. And we are now in the summer gift giving time. Could you explain that a little bit? Yeah, June and July is a season for summer gift and uh, incorporations. Not only a corporation, but privately too. Mm -hmm. And people spend money. Usually, average about sixty dollars. Even in corporations, they give to their customer an average of sixty dollar gift. Uh, they try to reduce oh. <laughs> uh, those uh, custom uh, to practice just as a formality. But when you have a good relation, you feel like you know, spontaneously present something yeah. as a sign of appreciation, gratitude. I think that's one great aspect of Japanese culture that. The expressions of gratitude and of appreciation and respect are overwhelming in comparison to other countries. That's right. Mm. Mm. And that actually vitalizes the economy. Absolutely. Mm. Um, I think that's all for this week. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time. Thank you.